hello hello so we've got six panels up that's uh, six 300 watt panels they're made by a local Spanish company Aterza so nice local product not uh, Chinese panels my family came round on New Year's Day and my brother helped me put uh, the panels up which was surprisingly quick and easy with these quick uh, quick connectors for the panel. is put these MC4 connectors on the end of this cable and extend the cables from all of the solar panels to come in here to these breakers so each panel goes on an individual breaker. So here's some more little problems that you run into. I just ordered these solar panels, I uh, got them the other day and I've already had these solar panels before and before they used to come with normal MC4 connectors and now at Terza, the company, Spanish company that makes them in all their wisdom have decided that they're going to change the connectors and yeah I didn't check so um, also the place that sold me the panels um, Obviously they didn't know either because I got these extra MC4 connectors from them and uh, yeah, they don't work, which is a pain in the ass because now I have to go and get these connectors if they even have them in stock. Cut the ends off these and now again I need to find out which is positive and which is negative uh, ain't not so easy okay there you go so that one's positive let's mark that quickly with a bit of tape just for me so it's nice and clear because as you've seen stuff doesn't tend to go so smoothly so I've got to put uh, the new connectors on here so it's a case of stripping this cable then this is I think this is the positive lead that's what's going on anyway. And so with these MC4 connectors, the the bigger one of the two, yeah, is the positive or the male one. The male one is actually the hole in this case. So just get this, put it on here. And so there's these little things for crimping in here. This is a size 10. And the these little tonguey bits go in the round bit. Let's see if I can do this so that you can see it. Yeah. Okay. So in there. Get a nice squeeze. And that's on really tight. That's great. So you get the connector, push it through until you hear a click, there you go, click, 
and then just screw this on. And then it's the same for the other side for the female one. Um, so I'm, I'm wiring each panel up uh, individually, one at a time, so running the cable and then wiring up that panel because um, I'm <laughs> a bit of a numpty and uh, lacking in concentration and so here's a good example of it it's good to check your voltage every time and see just 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 to see because look, I've here I've marked positive on this cable and it's the negative so it's good just to check things before you wire them up so I've changed the tape over and now we're good so I can wire these in let's see if this goes smoothly so this just goes to I'll try and keep my head out of the way if possible this just goes to the negative common on the bus bar I've oversized my cables again um, and so they don't fit through these things so I'm going to have to go and buy different sizes of these uh, yeah I keep on seeming to oversize my cables but I think uh, too big is better than too small and um, th there's a torque setting for these but I don't have a torque screwdriver so I'm just doing them up tight The thing about these low voltages is you don't really have to worry too much about getting shocked. Just do that up nice and snug and give it a bit of a tug to make sure it's not going anywhere. You don't want live wires floating around your combination. You Line the box. That's my first uh, solar panel wired up. So negative to the negative bus bar, positive to my 15 amp breaker. Um, so let's just uh, test this. Hopefully you can you can see this. So this is my first panel. Uh, so on the negative bus bar and got 42 volts so if I turn that breaker on and I read from the top I have 42.1 volts that's awesome so now let's go inside and measure over there and turn it on there here it is connected to my main solar in and we're getting 42.2 volts that's great so we have uh, no loss, it seems. It was 42.142 .42 on the other side. So now I'm going to turn the solar tracker on. I think first you always want to turn on the battery side so that it powers up all the internal electronics of the charge controller. And now so we've tested this I'm going to flick this one on and we should start charging here we go so you can hear the fan has come on on that thing to cool it down the solar tracking light has come on and we are charging